Hi, I'm Adrian Maidman, and this is EVQuest. In this episode, we're talking hydrogen power, specifically the hydrogen power of the Hyundai Nexo owned by Phil Major. Phil made the news at the end of 2021 when he bought his Nexo because he lives in the South Island and there was no publicly accessible refueling station for him to use. So in this episode, we catch up with Phil and see how his Nexo is going. Hi, Phil. <laughs> Okay, Adrian, how are you doing? Good, good, thank you. So um, you were in the news a few months ago about buying buying the uh, Nexo, with hydrogen Nexo. There were, I think there's three in the country, and uh, the story was there was nowhere to uh, put the fuel in again. So fill it up. Did you? So you sorted that prob problem out? Yes, we did. Uh, I was very lucky. Um, there's a place down here in uh, Rolleston called Global Bus Ventures, and they built a hydrogen. Uh, New Zealand's only hydrogen bus for Auckland transport. And so I knew if they built one, they must be able to fill it. So I went and met up with a guy called Mike out there, is more than helpful, tripping over himself to help me and yeah. um, get it filled down here, albeit a wee bit slower, but at least I'm getting um, a result. Oh, yeah. So there's a pressure, isn't there? Was it 700 something or others? 700 bar yeah. you're supposed to get to, isn't it? Yeah. Well, um, trucks go to three. 50 bar because they've got yeah. they've got large tanks because I've got plenty of room to put like, the large tank on. Um, my car's got three what you'd call almost like um, underwater diving bottles and they're 75 mil thick um, carbon fibre they're made of and they go to 700 bar which is nigh on 10,000 psi. Oh okay yeah and so apart from the fuel situation is it how's it been running? Oh, it's fantastic. It, it's, it's great. A, a, a buddy of mine's got a, a Model 3 Tesla, and, yeah. and that's not, but, it, but it's relatively heavy, whereas my car's very light. It's sort of, it, it just, it goes, it's lovely. It's fantastic to drive, it really is. Yeah. So does it drive more like a traditional car, or is it more like an electric car for the driving? Oh, it drives like a traditional car, but it's quiet. Yeah. 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 And uh, what about the mileage? Because that's a big... A, Pretty roughly speaking, um, it holds just under seven kilograms of uh, hydrogen because that's all done on weight. So it's seven yeah. kilograms of hydrogen for roughly seventy dollars, and it takes me seven hundred kilometres roughly wow. in that all. Yeah. Mm. So <laughs> and it that... takes when 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 the new um, fueling stations happen uh, down here, um, it takes about <laughs> as it happens to be seven minutes to fill it up with. With that much fuel, yeah. Are they planning more um, hydrogen fueling stations down south? Well, well one of the they they are. The, there's uh, there's a, a, a company called Haringa who are doing a whole lot in the North Island. Um, they're they're working on coming down here. I know there's a um, big company in from Invercargill is setting one up in Edendale. So it's sort of attacking me from both sides at the moment. So that, that's good. Um, I'm incidentally on the board of um, a company called Trans Waste, <clears throat> which runs a big landfill in Wipra, just north of Christchurch. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the things, you, a couple of things you need for making hydrogen is a, a fair bit of power and a fair bit of water. And we've got plenty of water, there's no problem. Um, and the power, we have to, because it's a landfill, we have to um, scavenge, so to speak, the methane off the dump off the landfill and not let we have to be burn it up in the sky but we we've got three four one megawatt generators and we pump power out to the um national grid so if we can get these guys coming in or a, a company coming in and getting power before we put it on the national grid because we only get probably eight cents a litre for the power whereas you and i buy it in our house for probably 28 five cents a, a, sorry i shouldn't say a litre a um, a megawatt hour or, or whatever it is, a unit. So if you can get the power before the meter, it makes it very a lot, lot cheaper to produce. Wow, yeah. So um, do you think the future is, is kind of hydrogen or is it, because um, now everyone's sort of into the electric cars, do you think hydrogen cars are going to catch on? Or is it going this, to take we're, another? We're, we're very, we're, the other thing we're extremely lucky about here, well, I think, yeah, to answer your question, heavy transport will be hydrogen. You yep. just cannot put tons and tons of batteries 
on a truck and expect to carry the same amount of payload. Uh, so the, the, the tanks for the hydrogen don't weigh a hell of a lot more than the tanks for the fuel with the diesel in it in the truck. And especially up at Cape Valley, as I say at Wipra, if we can run our trucks on um, hydrogen from up there, they can fill up up there, come into town, pick up their load of waste, take it out to uh, Cape Valley, Wipra, and dump it off in a zero carbon. It all, all that comes out is water. So it's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's great. So, yeah, have, have you, have you, I guess you haven't met anyone else on the road with, with the same car as you, but have you spoken to anyone else overseas with them? Or, to get any sort of... No, what I did, because, because I say I'm on that Transways board, I, I was interested, I've had it before I was a councillor at a trucking company, and I'm interested in new things and trucks and, yeah. and things like that. I was, I was generally leaning towards it. So I did a bit of homework on hydrogen cars and found out that they had um, quite a, there's a real good following of uh, Hyundai Nexos in California because they've got a good um, refueling system situation over there. So I rang my cousin up who runs the biggest Hyundai uh, dealership in the South Island and said, oh, I'll bring one of these in from America, a left-hand drive one. I don't care if it's left-hand drive. I just want to try one and give the go. Yes. Yeah. We've actually got three in the country, and one of them's brand new, and you can buy that if you like. So, so I did. So, uh, I've got it. Um, it, it, it goes. It does everything you ever want, and it, it's, it's got, it's got heated seats, it's got cool seats, heated steering wheel. You name it, it's, it's, it's got it. So it's, it's really good. Yeah. So it looks like quite a luxury car, is it? Um, on the inside, lots of buttons. Look at the photos. <laughs> you know, you go Tesla, one screen. Got your screen, and then you go the yours is button, 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 which I like the buttons everywhere. Yeah. It's it, it, being being an elderly dinosaur that I am, but it's like Hyundai have gone around and found every button that they've got left over from yeah. all the old cars fronted in there. But it, it's 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 simple. It's so easy. You actually turn a knob, and the volume goes up and down on your stereo and stuff like that. So it's it suits me the way I am. So it's great. It's really good. Yes. Anything but you don't what, like? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, one thing I will say, the, the other thing we've got here in Christchurch is um, an outfit called, um, a company called AF Cryro, Cryogenic, and they make a 20-foot uh, container with lots and lots of things in it, and you plug power in one side and water in the other. Mm. Uh, you put 4,000 litres of water in per day. You put 1.1 megawatts of power in per day, and you get, 450 kilograms, just under half a ton of hydrogen out of it. But the 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 byproduct is um, three and a half tons, three and a half thousand kilograms. Yeah, three. Yeah, that's right. Of uh, medical grade oxygen out of it oh. as a byproduct. So the, these these um, 20 foot containers will be quietly set up all over the all over the place, and. Uh, the, the benefit of having medical grade uh, oxygen that someone can use, I'm sure, is going to be a, a plus. Yeah, yeah. So there's lots of opportunities opening up for hydrogen, isn't there? It's still very early days. Oh, it is absolutely. See, you, you could set, set up one of these hydrogen generators somewhere. We'll say, say, a, a milk milk plant or a, whatever, and you could run your um, you could run your forklifts on them. There's, there's all sorts of things. And the good thing about it is because it makes it on site, no matter where you put it, there's no tanks like LPG tankers driving around or fuel tankers driving around all over the place. It's right there. And uh, so I can, if I've got one of these machines at my place, even though they are pretty dear, um, it makes, as I say, 450 kilograms a day. If I come and take 10 or 20 or 30 kilograms out, if I'm a truck or whatever, um, I go away and while I'm away, it just tops up and keeps it topped up to just under half a ton of hydrogen all the time. So it's great. Yeah, yeah. It's it's quite exciting times, isn't it? I guess you'd say. Oh, couldn't agree with more. Couldn't agree with more. Yeah. It's, 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 you, get, you go, go on YouTube and all sorts of things and you see them mining lithium. Now, that doesn't look like the, the best thing in the world. It, it sort of takes a fair bit of effort, fuel, diesel, you name it, and sort of scars the planet a bit. It's a bit like um, mining phosphate. It's, uh, it, it does a fair bit of damage to the planet. So I think this going forward, for, for, especially for trucks, cars are probably just as easy. You can plug them in and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, hydrogen's way to go yeah. as far as I'm concerned. Uh, maybe just lastly, say in 10 years' time, where do you see the hydrogen, the industry? 
I would tracks. say there'll be electric cars will still be still be around and stuff like that, but delivery trucks around town, small delivery trucks around town, and maybe even line haul stuff like the the trans waste um, things. They'll yeah, they'll 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 be good. They'll, they'll be the th yeah line haul trucks will be the way it happens, yeah. especially with fuel, diesel and fuel going up the, the way it is. Okay, there, Phil. Thanks for your time. That was all very interesting. And um... no, no. Know any more information? Please don't don't hesitate yeah. to give us a ring. Thanks for watching the video. If there's a topic you'd like me to cover in a future video, let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you feel like it, please subscribe, like, or share. And of course, there's another video here to check out.